Neutron capture is a nuclear reaction in which an atomic nucleus and one or more neutrons collide and merge to form a heavier nucleus. Since neutrons have no electric charge they can enter a nucleus more easily than positively charged protons which are repelled electrostatically. Neutron capture plays an important role in the cosmic nucleosynthesis of heavy elements. In stars it can proceed into ways as a rapid R process or a slow process S process. Nuclei of masses greater than 56 cannot be formed by thermonuclear reactions i.e., by nuclear fusion, but can be formed by neutron capture. Neutron capture at small neutron flux. Decay scheme of 1980. At small neutron flux, as in a nuclear reactor, a single neutron is captured by a nucleus. For example, when natural gold, 1970, is irradiated by neutrons, the isotope 1980 is formed in a highly excited state and quickly decays to the ground state of 1980 by the emission of rays. In this process, the mass number increases by 1. This is written as a formula in the form 1970 plus N1980 plus, or in short form 1970 and 1980. If thermal neutrons are used, the process is called thermocapture. The isotope 1980 is a beta emitter that decays into the mercury isotope 198Hg. In this process the atomic number rises by 1. Neutron capture at high neutron flux. The arc process happens inside stars if the neutron flux density is so high that the atomic nucleus has no time to decay via beta emission in between neutron captures. The mass number therefore rises by a large amount, while the atomic number, i.e., the element, stays the same. Only afterwards, the highly unstable nuclei decay via many decays to stable or unstable nuclei of high atomic number. Capture cross-section The absorption neutron cross-section of an isotope of a chemical element is the effective cross-sectional area that an atom of that isotope presents to absorption and is a measure of the probability of neutron capture. It is usually measured in Barnes B. Absorption cross-section is often highly dependent on neutron energy. Two of the most commonly specified measures are the cross-section for thermal neutron absorption and resonance integral which considers the contribution of absorption peaks at certain neutron energy specific to a particular nuclide, usually above the thermal range, but encountered as neutron moderation slows the neutron down from an original high energy. The thermal energy of the nucleus also has an effect as temperatures rise. Doppler broadening increases the chance of catching a resonance peak. In particular, the increase in uranium-238's ability to absorb neutrons at higher temperatures and to do so without fissioning is a negative feedback mechanism that helps keep nuclear reactors under control. Uses Further information, neutron activation and neutron activation analysis Neutron activation analysis can be used to remotely detect the chemical composition of materials. This is because different elements release different characteristic radiation when they absorb neutrons. This makes it useful in many fields related to mineral exploration and security. Neutron absorbers Neutron poison This section needs attention from an expert in physics. The specific problem is, no reliable source is indicated, and a general public unable to find them. An expert needs to verify the information, copy edit the text for encyclopedic style, and find references. Wiki Project Physics, or its portal, may be able to help recruit an expert. October 2011, the section needs additional citations for verification. Please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. December 2011 Neutron cross-section of boron, top curve is 410b and bottom curve 411b. The most important neutron absorber is tin boron, as 10b4c in control rods, or boric acid, as a coolant water additive in PWRs. Other important neutron absorbers that are used in nuclear reactors are xenon, cadmium, hafnium, gadolinium, cobalt, samarium, 
titanium, dysprosium, erbium, europium, molybdenum, and ytterbium, all of which usually consist of mixtures of various isotopes some of which are excellent neutron absorbers. These also occur in combinations such as Mo2b5, hafnium diboride, titanium diboride, dysprosium titanate, and gadolinium titanate. Hafnium, one of the last stable elements to be discovered, presents an interesting case. Even though hafnium is a heavier element, its electron configuration makes it practically identical with the element zirconium, and they are always found in the same ores. However, their nuclear properties are different in a profound way. Hafnium absorbs neutrons avidly, HF absorbs 600 times more than ZR, and it can be used in reactor control rods whereas natural zirconium is practically transparent to neutrons. So, zirconium is a very desirable construction material for reactor internal parts, including the metallic cladding of the fuel rods which contain either uranium, plutonium, or mixed oxides of the two elements, MOX fuel. Hence, it is quite important to be able to separate the zirconium from the hafnium in their naturally occurring alloy. This can only be done inexpensively by using modern chemical ion exchange resins. Similar resins are also used in reprocessing nuclear fuel rods when it is necessary to separate uranium and plutonium, and sometimes thorium.